What's up? What's up, y'all? I was just thinking while I was staying in this box, man. And I think I'm going to use this enclosure to get my point across. First of all, I do not do fourth order designs, nor do I build fourth orders for guys who are not local to me. Number one, to really do a fourth order correctly, you need to know the resonant frequency of your vehicle. You need to know you need to know the sub, you do, and you need to do that. Know that with the sub that you are running. So I need, I would need your vehicle, the sub you got. I have to build a seal box, the best seal box I could for it. Put it inside your vehicle, do a sweep, and then that's going to be the seal section of my fourth order. <sighs> okay, and that's why I don't do fourth orders and ship them, uh, unless you know the resonant frequency of your vehicle. If you know that, you tell me that. Yeah, I'll do that for you. If you don't, there's some questions I can ask you that will let me know. And I pretty much know some resonances of a car, SUV, or a truck. Okay, with that being said, I had a customer who wanted to run two subwoofers. In fact, he wanted to run, he wanted to run two eights. No, he wanted to run two twelves in a trunk of a car, in a fourth order. And he asked me, some good, some good twelves too, uh, atomic, ELEs, uh, old school. So he was, and he told me the vehicle he had, and I said, "Man, you might as well run a porter." And he was like, "Well, a, a fourth order has more output than a porter, right?" I said, "Yeah, but then you run in a trunk, and you're gonna try to port the fourth order through the through the little armrest thing in the middle of the seat. He's gonna let that down and use that ski hole they using in, in this trunk of this car for to be the port of the fourth order." And I said, man, you know, roughly that's gonna be the same size port that you would use in a ported box. So you wouldn't really gain any output. And when I explained it to him, and he, follow me so y'all understand this. Fourth orders do a way more efficient within their pass band than a regular ported enclosure. A fourth order does have its limitations though. They're customarily larger than their ported counterpart. Also, look at this. In a fourth order, you have a seal section and a ported section. But all you see, all you see as the owner, all you see, the listening environment, all you're going to see in a fourth order is the port. Because the sub is on the inside of the box in the seal section. So, the sales section of a fourth order produces the lows. And you get the output of the lows magnified by the porter section. Magnified with the porter section by the porter section through the port. The port of a fourth order needs to be commensurate with the volume of the with the volume of the porter section. And also with the cone area of the sub or subwoofers inside. With a fourth order, you want a relatively large port area per the ported section. You do not use 12 to 16 square inches of port area like you would do in a ported box for those of you who build within 12 and 16. Those of us builders who know about how to relate the cone area and the X-Max to the port area, you know that you can go grade in 16, but that's a whole nother video. But if, if so the port area, we'll get back to topic, the port area of fourth order, what you see, what you actually see in the fourth order is just this, the port, right? Okay? Well, the port area of a fourth needs to be commensurate with the box volume of the ported section and the cone which means it's gonna be way larger than most likely 16 squares per cube. It could be anywhere, it could be 22, 24, because the ported section of a fourth order is tuned high anyway. But you need enough port area to make it worthwhile. And getting enough port order tends to leave fourth orders that are decent and efficient to be relatively larger than their ported counterpart. Let me tell you what a fourth order is doing. I'm talking normally. This is the seal section. 
This is the, my mouth is the seal section. All frequencies are played through my mouth. My mouth is the subwoofer in the seal section. And the fourth order, my hands, my hands are the ported section. They go over the seal section. I'm cupping my hands. I'm cupping my hands. I'm putting my mouth inside my hand. All the bass, all the sound that you are hearing now, all the sound that you are hearing now is muffled and just resonating off the walls of my hand. Or just muffled and resonating off the walls of my hand. Because you got a seal section playing into a, a seal section. But once I, I say I lift two fingers, two fingers, I'm still putting my mouth here, two fingers lifted in this now ported section. As I bring my hand closer to my hand, you will see my voice is getting deeper. And you can hear what I'm saying a little bit better because I have ported the enclosure, right? Well, with a fourth order, you want to port big enough that as I talk, I'm actually able to project sound with my hands. And all I did was cup. You know how you yell for somebody and you put your hand, you put in the ported section. The hands, your hands on the walls and you're putting your seal section of your mouth into a ported section and you're trying to get your voice a little deeper or broadcast a little further. That's the same thing that's happening in the fourth order. And because of that, you need a relatively large port. If the port of your fourth order is going to be the same size as the port of your ported enclosure, what the what is the point of running a fourth order? And that's what I got him to understand. And he said, oh, man, I didn't think about it like that. So I thought I'd share that with y'all. Especially people that want to run a fourth order because they just like the name and try to run the port of section. Does your vehicle application support you being able to run something that's going that to be, that to function and work best under the premise it was designed upon and conceived upon is that you have a large port area because all your output in the fourth order is coming from what exposed to the listening environment. You still getting the sound of the cone and you getting the sound of the port section, but it's all coming through, it's all coming through the port. Whereas a typical ported box, you get the sound from not just the port, but the cone, the moving diaphragm and the port. Because remember I told y'all, and I'm gonna touch on this video, top on the subject just slightly, but I'm gonna close. Don't ever think that air is moving in and out the port. That's why you need to curve it and put, air is not moving in and out the port. It's a column of air that the subwoofer thicken as soon as you turn it on. And that's what's reacting to the air that you see when you put bags and stuff on it. That column of air inside the port. But that's a whole nother subject. But anyway, that's my thoughts on fourth order. Some of you are gonna love it, some of you are not, some of you are gonna disagree, and some of you gonna agree. Some of you are gonna gain a little tidbit of information you can take elsewhere and continue on your search and journey of getting better than cardio. Like I do, by doing what? Reading, trying things, trying things out, trying different scenarios, different box sizes, different subs, just so I speak from experience and not what I read on some social media for them. <laughs> anyway, if you need any closure, get at me, man. You know the number, it'll be in the description. It's 404-694-4818. Ain't this coming out nice, y'all? Ain't this coming out nice? It's beautiful. Ain't it? Yeah. yeah I, all these boxes are uh, hand rubbed. Uh, I'm here for my wood back in stock, too. But anyway, let me close this video because I'm getting off top. Please, baby. Down to black, would you please? Would you please? Okay. Would you please? Oh, man. Down to black. You please, God. You want me to tip this up? Tip that ass. How about that? I'm sorry, y'all. My wife, man. You know what it is. Peace.